In gypsy jazz guitar, learning to play rhythm is the foundation for everything. By working on our rhythm, we improve our sense of time, our understanding of chords, and our understanding of the neck of the guitar, which is the basis for improvisation. We also improve our sense of consistency and our ability to support and listen to other musicians. Rhythm guitar can be overlooked by some people who may jump ahead to learning lead and improvisation. However, I recommend to each and every student to take the time to become really comfortable with your rhythm sound. Every great gypsy jazz guitar player out there has spent a good deal of time in the rhythm role before moving on to mastering lead and improvisation. In a gypsy jazz group, there is no drummer, but there is plenty of swing. This is largely thanks to the rhythm guitarist. The rhythm guitarist has two main roles. The first is to take the place of the drummer and provide a solid swing rhythm, outlining the beat and playing some subtle accents on the two and four in order to enhance the sense of swing. The second is to serve as the chord player for the band, and in doing so, outline the harmony and form of the song that is being played. So, a rhythm guitarist provides the harmony for the solo player on beats one and three, and essentially an unmuted rhythmic stab or accent on two and four. And this can vary depending on the tempo being played, but is a good starting point for learning rhythm guitar. Good gypsy jazz rhythm technique can sound a lot easier than it is to play. We'll be learning this technique in small increments, so along the way be sure to stop and check you're doing it correctly, so that we can make sure you have a strong foundation for your playing. In the next lesson, we'll start learning the gypsy jazz rhythm technique, La Pompe.